Well, hello artists, welcome to another mythical creature adventure. I'm gonna get started on these cards, flip over some ideas and see what comes to your imagination. You can draw along with me or you can draw your own beasties. This is a mosquito for the small subject. That's gonna be fun. The mythical or the medium subject, mythical, mythical and medium is gonna be a lemur. All right. And then let's see here. The large subject will go right here with a mammoth. That sounds fun. So mosquito mammoth. And then if you're feeling up to it, the detail card, let's see what this has in store for us. Somewhere in here, fire breathing. Now we're talking. We have a mosquito lemur mammoth that's fire breathing. I'm gonna go straight to the paper on this. Dollar paper, that's right. Unless you want to use a pizza box. You want to use a pizza box again? I go through all of my recycle bin and pull this stuff out and I cut it and I use these. So maybe I'll use one of these today for this art piece. Um, these are all stuff that... <laughs> you guys must think I just eat pizza all day. You might think that anyways. Maybe I do. Maybe I do eat pizza all day. First thing I like to do is think of the body shape. So I'm probably gonna make a mosquito body. So start with the the head, and then he has a was it a thorax or something? This pointy thing on back. But we also need a lemur tail. So I'm gonna make a tail on here. That's that lemur ringed tail. That looks fun. And again, you can draw along as much as you want, or you can you know go off in your own direction. If you want to start with a mammoth body and then add mosquito wings and you know little feet, like the lemur feet or whatever you want to do, that's what you should do. Um, I only draw things that I think are fun. So, okay, so this mosquito stinger, basically a mosquito here. All right, so I'm gonna do a long stinger and then we're gonna put these mammoth tusks on here. They come around, they're gonna be huge. This guy's not even able to fly anymore. You know he can't fly, not with these tusks. Okay, so he has this, and then one on the other side that bends the other way, kind of. They always go flip-flop for some reason. Okay, and then he's gonna need big ears, probably. That sounds about right. Big furry ears on here, like that mammoth would have. That's good. Another big ear. Don't confuse this guy with a koala. Okay, and then legs. What do we have for legs? Well, we have the ring-tailed lemur back here. So that's that. Um, the mosquito body. We'll have this. That'll kind of tie into the tail, maybe. There's these weird striations along the bottom. Little segments. Segment body. Alright, so I guess we go with wings. So the wings are going to be these long back wings. Let's see. Big tall legs. Is that what you want? Some long legs. I like bug legs. So that's good. Those are under the wings. So we'll have to go like this. One there, how many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six, it looks like. Wait, he has three, four, man, eight legs? Two and ten, yeah. Too many legs, all right. Uh, let me go like this. Another one here, connected on there somewhere. I have one here that's going backwards. And then, I need some couple on the other side. So I'll have one up here that goes off this way. Another one here, you can't see that one. And this one goes up this way and hides behind his back there, okay. Like that and I guess there's two more up front off of his head. I don't know. There are now one there and one there. All right, this looks just creepy enough. I'm going to get started here. I guess I'll leave that under there for padding. Sometimes when you do color pencil, if you leave more padding underneath it, uh, just extra pieces of paper or whatever, it gives you a little border, uh, better uh, reception. So it takes it takes the color a little better. I'm just gonna go straight to coloring this. What color should we do? I'm gonna do yellow is gonna look like a bumblebee. So maybe he'll be gray. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, you know what? He could be brown like the mammoth. That does sound fun. Maybe he'll go from gray to gray to brown. So back here will be brown. It's whatever. What color is a mammoth? I don't know. They don't exist. Uh, let's see here. Wow. Don't use that color there. Not quite that shade of brown. It's gonna be this brown. All right. When I woke up today, I did not think I'd be drawing a mammoth 
mosquito. But if you see this guy coming through your area, don't wait around for him to sting you. It does not look fun. Okay. So I'm actually doing this a little backwards today. I'm just adding color before I line it. So I need to go in here and line this thing so I can tell where to color. It's easier sometimes if you color like a coloring book, but you need lines to do that, right? Okay, so that's kind of how it's gonna look. Let me get some lines on here. I'll use my Sharpie brush. Link is in the description. And um, let's see what we can do. Yeah, dude, if I see one of these anywhere, I'm not gonna wait around. I'll be leaving the, leaving the scene here of the mosquito mammoth. All right, then these legs. That's kind of what I like about this brush, is that it's nice and you can get thick and thin lines. And then leg here. This one, I think, is this front leg. This one will be back there. This one will go back there. This one is going to go back here. And then the wing will be here. That sounds good. All right. Then you can kind of see through this wing, you can see some of the details, I hope. And then I'm gonna take my white uh, Posca and I'll make sure and highlight some of these legs so that it, it uh, defines it a little better. So I don't always like to cheat with a Posca, but if it helps define the art, then it's okay, I think. Okay, so I'm just lining this thing all the way. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this lemur tail. Front foot, this is the side foot back there. So we have two, three, four, five, six. There's probably eight on there. Now I need a regular Sharpie. I'm gonna draw these eyes. A little more detailed. Bug, bug looking eyes. That's kind of fun. This back wing back here. And then this, just detailing these wings a little bit. You gotta do what you wanna do. Just have, have some fun drawing, you know? All right, and these tusks are kind of ridiculous. But I like them. Okay, there's that. All right. Now I see this giant stinger. And then I'm going to go around this stinger with little details. There we go. Maybe I'll go around the tusks a couple times here. Maybe those are segmented. So on the tusks, if you curve the lines, it makes it look like it is round, like an actual cylinder. That way it looks a little more bug-like. Now I'm gonna add a few hairs to these legs because I can only presume that a mammoth mosquito would actually have some hairy, hairy yams back here. Almost done with the hair. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna do with marker is I'm gonna go under the belly, so uh, darken it up just a little bit and give a little more weight underneath some of these. So very gently add a little bit of, okay, that's about it. Now I'm going back to color. Now that I know what I'm coloring, I'm gonna shape this thing up a little, better on the ears. And then like I said, we're gonna add that white. I love drawing stuff like this because it reminds me that there uh, are impossible things to do in the world. Sometimes your imagination is the best reminder of that. Well, this thing can't really exist. It does now. Okay, so this whole thing is just brown like a mammoth. I'm gonna shape it up with a couple of them. Extra color, this is the exact same color. A little darker under that, behind that ear, under the wings. Coming off of that leg. And that's the dark side under here. Just taking a shape, that's good. So now we have, just like that, see? Push a little bit harder and you get these uh, neat little shadows coming off. And then the wing under here probably has a, a slight shade. I feel like doing the eye silver. So guess what color I'm gonna do for the eyes. You guessed it. Some bug eyes look like that, right? Kind of silvery. And then this wing will also have some silver. Hey, if you got the colors, I will use them, you know? This silver is 949, by the way. PC 949 Prisma Color. Okay, now we have that. 
I'm actually gonna put a little highlight on this. Both of these, the tusks, that's fun. And then I will do, what color is that? Blue, this is blue. Well, this would probably ruin it. I did have some nice lines on here. You know what, I'm gonna use like a baby, baby blue and see if I can bring out this couple of these things. Oh, that's kind of neat. There you go, didn't know what it would do. It's hard to exactly tell because these lights are super bright over my head so it reflects all this stuff. This is uh, 904, this color. Again, I don't know, you don't have to have all these colors. You can use crayons, you can use watercolor stuff, you can do a painting, you can do anything. Okay, so that's baby blue on there. I'm gonna shade these in just a little bit. I'm also going to add white to these, like we talked about. Just a few more minutes here, we'll be all done wrapping this up. So I want this to actually feel kind of bug-like. So yeah, it's the shape of a mammoth, but I want it to feel like it actually is a bug appendage kind of thing. This is looking sharp. And then you can kind of see the body through this wing. So that's kind of fun, just a little bit. And then, oh, that's what I was gonna use the black for. What's this tail? It's tail segments. There we go. Last thing, I'm going to throw some white around this. Let's see if it's ready. It's ready. Kind of hard getting all these little hairs on here. The only thing left to do is add some fire on here. So I'm going to do that real fast. Okay, that does it for our mosquito mammoth lemur that's fire breathing. I liked how it turned out, pretty cool colors and a little different than usual. Hopefully you had fun drawing yours, whatever it looks like. Be sure to like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff so that I know that people are watching out there and wanna see more. We'll see you next time. Keep your imaginations churning. See ya.